Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Shotwani once again from learn-animation.com. Today in this video, I'm going to show you a very interesting feature by Test Trigger where you can generate automated test by just giving project description or the feature description. So suppose I have one of the feature which is getting developed and I want to test. Instead of writing the steps, instead of automating uh, usually, we will be using AI where I will just give the feature description it will generate the automated steps for me. It will run on multiple browsers and will get the results. So today we will be using test trigger. And if you're completely new to test trigger, then I would highly recommend you to explore this tool, which is generative AI based test automation tool, which can help you to automate your web API, mobile mainframe, and any kind of application by using AI without writing a single line of code. You can either give the high level instruction like this, or you can write the steps in plain English. And if you're new to test trigger, I would highly recommend you to explore the existing series where we discussed multiple things, how you can generate test for web UI, API, mobile. And we have also done multiple live stream with their test trigger team where they have explained the features of test trigger and how we can use different application and how we can automate them. So I already have account with test trigger in case if you don't have sign up is very straightforward. You click on sign up, create your account. Once your account is ready, you will be landing on this page. So in the previous example, I will have used this particular test suite called e-commerce demo. So I will continue with this. But in case if you don't have this, you just need to enter the suite name, select the type of testing that you want to perform the application URL. So in today's example, I will be using bestbuy.com, but you can go with any application. Make sure you give the proper description about that particular feature and select how many tests you want to generate in case if you don't want to generate just select zero and continue i already have this test suite created which is e-commerce demo and if i show you my settings so this is the test suite name which is e-commerce demo and if i jump into ai this is the description we have given that this is e-commerce website where user can search any product and buy the product so I will continue. So I will go back to test cases. And on this particular page, you will find one option called generate test cases based on the feature description. Now, suppose I have a feature where user can lend to this website, which is Best Buy. And if they click on maybe menus, and if they click on maybe brands, they will be able to see multiple brands and they can go to any brand and they can add any product in the cart. There's a simple feature which I have. So this is exactly what I will do. I will click on generate test cases based on the feature description. So now again, it says how many tests you want to generate using AI. Provide a feature description and upload image of diagram to generate the test cases. So I will select one, but in case if you want to go with multiple, you can go ahead with the multiple test cases. Now the feature description I have already written. So maybe I will just quickly show you. Now verify user can access menu, which is this menu. Then view brand list, which is this brand list, Apple, Samsung, LG and so on. And then they can add a product to the cart from any brand. I have given any brand, but you can give a specific brand as well. And you can see images of diagram. Let's say I want to give screenshot of this. So maybe I will take a screenshot. And I will provide the screenshot. So I will click on choose file. And let me give this particular image. And instead of selecting any brand, what I will do, I will say add a product card from maybe Samsung. Okay. Now I will click on generate. Now it will take few seconds. Now it is asking you test cases to build. Verify user can navigate menu, select Samsung brand, add a product to cart. So you can see it has modified my uh, description. So I have selected right at the end that select any brand or select Samsung brand. It has changed uh, based on the context that first navigate, select this brand and then add a product card. Now you can add it. If you're not happy, you can regenerate, you can remove, but this looks fine. So let me click on add and build. So it started opening the first page. Now it might take a couple of seconds. So let me pause the recording. Once we start, uh, once we have the execution, I will continue with the recording. Yeah, so it started the execution. 
it loaded the first home page now it is clicking on the menu part and it clicked on now this menu now we can see the brands now it clicked on the brand and now it will wait for the further navigation yes it got multiple brands apple samsung lg and now since we have given click samsung it has clicked samsung only now it will go to the multiple brands sorry multiple products now it is going to multiple products smartwatch and smartphones it clicked on cell phone now it is going to the cell phone page it has clicked on shop new galaxy z series now if you want to go with a specific product feel free to add detailed description that which product you want to select at what price point you want to select since we have not given any details it is going as per the flow it is going to samsung brand and it's going with any product with any price but if you give the detailed description which brand which cat which category which price it clicked on samsung galaxy z 256 gb model yes it's almost done now it is going to the samsung official page yeah sorry best buy official page where price is listed now it is scrolling down automatically it has selected the default options and again scrolling down so let's wait for the complete execution click on add to cart and go to cart almost done and it reads to this particular page where we have a checkout option and this is the final verification point you can see in this green right green box so check that page contains a specific product that we started again further check it is able to verify the price and we are done you can see it highlighted in green it means the test has been passed successfully so we just gave that go to this particular category search a brand and select any product from this brand it has automatically identified the flow it has added automatically so many verification checks in case you are not happy with certain steps you can edit the steps as well for example the moment i click on edit it has done all these steps it click 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 scroll click and these are the three verifications in case you want to add additional steps you want to add additional verification feel free to add and it will perform accordingly so that is the power of generate ai you have just given a product or the feature description along with the image it has identified and automated now if you do it manually it will take a couple of minutes or maybe hours for you to write the test then automate and then generate the result right here it has automatically generated for you now in case if you don't want to go from here we also have an option called add test case okay so if you click on generate sample test using ai that so says give me the description i will say buy a kindle if i click on generate sample it has generated these sample steps using ai but if you want actual test using ai just give the description about the feature and you click on this button called generate actual test using ai it will automatically generate the steps automate and run on the different browsers so very interesting feature and i would highly recommend you to give a try with your application and let me know if you face any issue and right now this complete feature got executed on one browser but let's say you want to execute across multiple browsers so right now it executed on ubuntu chrome but in case if i want to run the same test on multiple browser combination you click on the settings and click on multiple browsers and right now this is what we have selected right ubuntu chrome let's say i want to go with windows chrome or i want to go with ubuntu chrome sorry ubuntu is already there i will go, go with osx chrome now we have three browser combinations 
the moment i click on save now if i execute this particular test right now it executed on one the moment i click on retest you can see triggered for all ubuntu chrome windows chrome and mac chrome now it will run parallelly it will be giving a result once the test is done and you will be getting the report yeah so just by giving a feature description it has created multiple tests right now in our case one but you can give uh, multiple tests by the drop down it will run on multiple browser depends on which browser you have selected uh, so that's all about this video in case if you're new to test trigger i would highly recommend you to give it a try and in case if you have a custom requirement you want to do a poc you book a demo with them have a call talk about your requirement and see how test trigger can help you in the automation journey so i will be giving this link in the description if you go with this link which is uh, through my link you will be getting 15 percent additional off if you go with their subscriptions yeah so let me know if you need any help from my side or from the test trigger side I will definitely try my best to support you. So that's all about this video. Thank you so much and see you soon. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.